Welcome to episode 131 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. And this week we're talking about why none of your systems are working. We're making our way through the fog of life and clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So I read this story this week, and here, here it goes. So there were two guys, and they were walking up the side of a riverbank, and one of the guys looked, and he heard a noise, and he looked, and he noticed that there was a child in the water struggling, coming downstream like he couldn't swim, he needed help. So the one guy went in and jumped, grabbed the kid out of the water, and as he's paddling back, they heard another scream, and the guy that was still on the bank saw another kid coming down the river struggling. So he jumped in, and now we have both guys in the water saving two kids. And just as the first guy gets out with the kid he saved, they heard another scream, and there was another kid coming down the river. So he jumped back in the water to save that other child. And then the second one to jump in, he eventually got out with his kid, and he's saving the first one. His friend already saved one. He's in there saving another one. And he sees coming down the line another kid coming down, and he just doesn't jump back in the water. He actually just starts leaving. And the first guy who's in the water is struggling to get the one kid out now realizes he has to save the other kid. He said, hey, where are you going? And he said, you keep grabbing the kids. I'm going to go upstream and tackle the guy that keeps throwing all the kids in the water. I was like, oh, that's a great story. And it came out of this book. That I don't know if he, or this story originated here, but um, I've been able to read some books lately. I usually learn a lot by reading. Haven't had a lot of time to read over the last year or two. But I picked this one up, Upstream, by Dan Heath. And he tells this story. And I thought it was a great illustration of how oftentimes we run around trying to fix the symptoms of the problem or what's happening. The symptoms, right? I've said it before. You solve problems, not symptoms. And when you try to solve symptoms, well, you never really address the problem. So that is a great illustration of you could keep pulling kids out of the water. But unless you stop the guy throwing the kids in the water, then you're just going to have to keep pulling kids out of the water. You don't really solve the problem. You solve the symptom. And then I started reading through a little bit more. And I read a quote. Now, the quote isn't original to this book. It's It didn't come from this book originally. I can't remember. Several other people are credited for saying it, so I guess it's really kind of in dispute. But this statement regarding systems and I think ultimately accountability, it just punched me right in the gut. That's why I wrote it on the big whiteboard across from my desk because I think it's that important. I might actually get vinyl made and plaster it on my wall because it's an amazing accountability statement. And what it says is this, every system is perfectly designed to get the results it gets. Every system is perfectly designed to get the results that it gets, which means by inference, if you are unhappy with the result you're getting, whether in your business, your personal life, your family, your own personal disciplines, you know, your job, career, whatever, your love life, whatever. If you believe that statement, then you realize the result that you're getting that you're unhappy with is actually the result of a system perfectly designed to keep spitting out that result to you every single time. Which then the next step is if you're in leadership in an organization and you're not happy with the results you're getting, you're not happy with the product. You're not happy with the attitude of your people. You're not happy with the profitability. You're not happy with the speed. Well, guess what? Then that means that there's a system that you have allowed to be in place or maybe even put in place that is perfectly giving you that result every time. And so if you're willing to take accountability for that, then that means you have a lot of control and power all of a sudden, doesn't it? So this past week, um, you've probably seen these posts too on social media where you see a lot of companies that have applied for, you know, to be included in the Inc. 5000 list because of certain criteria that it, it takes to actually make the list growth criteria. You've been seeing posts that say, hey, we've made the Inc. 5000 list. We're so excited. Now, 
my company congruent did not make the list i thought of making a post all my friends are on the list i thought of making a post to saying that we didn't make the list but um we didn't make the list however our company has doubled in size in the last 12 months so maybe we'll apply next year but we've doubled in size and with that change and with that growth comes it comes system breakdown because the system that you had that worked that gave you a good output at the one size is now it may, may have been perfectly designed to give you a good output a good result but if you keep that same system and your results are now starting to jumble and you're realizing some tension and some friction points well now the system that you have is perfectly designed to give you that unfavorable result and it might be the same system the moral of the story is that stop jumping in the water to rescue the kids or at least allocate some resources to get up the river and take the guy down that keeps throwing the kids in the river. It's really a well-phrased item. It gives you amazing clarity in just several words. And this phrase, every system is perfectly designed to get the results it gets, this phrase did that for me. It just did it for me. And I hope that this phrase does it for you. I hope right now, like if anything, through this podcast, and it's kind of a shorter one, but through it, I hope that if anything, it gets you to think about something you're not happy with, some output or outcome or result or something that keeps coming up in your life or in your business or whatever that you're unhappy with. And for a second, you just take a minute to think, am I pulling kids out of the water? Am I treating symptoms? Or is there a problem upstream that I'm not addressing and taking accountability and ownership for now going to address that problem to hopefully develop a system that perfectly is perfectly designed to get you a result that you would like to get. So that's it. That's the whole point. That's the whole thought behind episode 131. Talking about why your system isn't working. Maybe we're talking about why your system is working, but most of the time we tend to think of the things that aren't working because those are, you know, like you never think about uh, how your socks feel. <laughs> you just don't. Uh, you never feel, think, I like, never think about like, you know what? My, my little toe is feeling really good today. Well, you never think about that. You only think about it if it's hurting, which is the same thing in systems and in life. We usually think most about the things that are broken or not favorable or not giving us the results that we would like to see. So I hope that this whole thing comes together Thank you, Dan Heath, for writing Upstream, for encouraging us with that little phrase or passing that phrase on, that little story that helps us contextualize, maybe give us a little bit of, like I say, clarity, Bing. which I also define as just perspective, understanding where we are on the map. We know where we want to go, but until we realize where we are, we can't plot out the course to get there. All that to be said, I hope you have an amazing week tackling the guy that's throwing the kid in the water, not pulling the kids out of the water. Let's think about it for a second. Is the system that we have giving us the results that we want? If not, the good news is, guess what? We can tweak the system because the one we have might not be working. Until next time, I hope you pursue clarity. I hope you fix some systems. I hope you get some clarity, self-awareness. More than anything, I hope you can just be kind to one another Let's move forward together. Let's encourage one another. I hope this encouraged you today, and I will talk to you next week.